Hi everyone, my name is Bindu. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how to calculate percent of parent row in Power BI. So when I say percent of parent row, what does that mean? If you look at my screen here, we have car brands. This Alfa Romeo, Citroen, Skoda, these all are car brands. And the ones here, the 156 and Spider are the models for this Alfa Romeo. So we have brands and their models and their price. And we also have percentage share of models price. Okay. And this percent share of model price, this represents the percent of parent row. So now let's see what does that mean. So if you look at this Alfa Romeo, this brand has two models 156 and spider so each one each model has a different price 156 is 280000 and spider is 207000 so both together both combined is 487000 right what we want to calculate here is how much is 280000 how much percent is 280000 in this 487000 so this 280000 in this 487,000 is 57.49%. The same way 207,000 in 487,000 is 42.51 percentage. Because Alpha Romeo is the parent of these two models, we are calling this as percent of parent row. I hope the definition is clear now. And now let's see how to do it in Power BI. Before creating this percent of parent row in Power BI, we need to understand what the mathematical formula is for this. So, what is the formula to create percent of uh, parent row? It is very simple. If you are trying to calculate it for this model, 156 model, then what you do is the total price for this model, which is 280,000, divided by the total price for for that for the parent total price of the parent so it would be 280000 divided by 487000 let's see what what result it gives in the calculator so it is 280000 divided by 487000 so you do into 100 because it is percent it is 57.49 so this is how you so this is the formula to calculate this percent of parent row now let's create this in power bi i already created the measure here but uh, let's create uh, the measure from scratch again so that um, so that you understand it better i'm creating new measure here and i name the measure as percent of parent row okay and the first thing i want here is the uh, numerator would be this one right the uh, 280 280000 would be the numerator here so to get that we just say sum of price so this is the first part so we are dividing the first part and second part right so we use the divide function here divide function and the first part is the 280000 which is the sum of uh, the model price and the second part here i want to get the 487000 as my denominator uh, and to get that i cannot just simply say sum of uh, uh, price because sum of price gives me the model price it doesn't give me the uh, mod, uh, the uh, parent price the car brand price right so for that i have to remove the filters I, I have to remove the model filter from this car brand so to do that i use calculate function so this calculate function is used to merge basically so i am using sum here sum of price sum of price so until here it gives me 280000 so to remove the model filter and to get the total price what i do is i use all function okay all comma model end and i want to remove the model filter 
from this all function so what i'm doing is i give the model as parameter here and now this gives us the complete result let's see let's bring this measure also into this table okay so we haven't converted this to percent i'm clicking on this measure and i'll change this to percent okay we are all set so this one the last column that you're seeing is the one we just created so uh, this gives the exact same result so when you look at this measure again what we are doing here is we are dividing two parts here we are dividing the model price by the total price of the brand okay this gives us the percent of parent row i hope this is clear if you have any questions you can ask them in the comment section below and if you like this video please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe and see you in the next video thank you